Here's my 2000 Annette server, which is a domain member. Now, to make it a remote desktop services server, launch server manager, select roles, add roles. And it's now called remote desktop services, it's not terminal server anymore. Next, next. Now, I want the remote desktop session host. I'm also on this box going to install um, remote desktop licensing. And I need web access, which will also install IIS. So I just OK that. And click next. OK, I'm going to set it to the more secure require network level authentication. And next, uh, I'll configure the licensing mode now. I'm going to put it per device as opposed to per user. Click next. Uh, now I need to specify who is going to be able to access the remote desktop server. And for simplicity, I'm just going to add in the domain users group. So everybody will be able to access the, the remote desktop services server. Uh, for the client experience, I'm going to turn everything on. Not that it's going to benefit us for a remote app, but... Okay, the discovery scope for the license server, I'm going to set to this domain. Click Next. Click Next. Leave all that on its default, and click Next. You can, if you wish, have a quick review of what's going to be installed and what's going to be changed, and then click Install. That all whizzed through. And when it's done, it will tell you that it is requiring a restart. Click close and you'll be prompted to restart the server. Now the server will actually reboot twice. And when it comes back up, it should complete the rule installation. Okay, that's just done. There are a few errors and warnings on there, but we're going to sort them out in a minute. Hit close. And we're finished with the server manager. So, as I said earlier, I'm going to stick licensing on this box. Let's just run that up. Admin tools, remote desktop servicing, remote desktop licensing manager. And I'm going to need to activate this server as the license server. So drill down and click activate server. Click next and that will connect to the Microsoft Clearinghouse. Obviously make sure you've got a working internet connection. Put your details in. I'm not actually installing any client access licenses on this server because this is just my test network. So, tap in my email. Obviously, when you're doing this for real, you'd fill all this lot in. I'm just going to skip past this, and that should activate our license server. It has done. Uh, now I'm going to untick the option to install licenses because, as I've said, this is my test network. I don't have any client access licenses to install, so I'm going to leave it on the default of everything will work for 120 days. And that's my licensing server up and activated. Now there's one final hoop to jump through with licensing with um, remote desktop services on 2008 R2. So and that is go to session host configuration and in the middle there you'll see license servers not specified double click that yeah we know we haven't got one at the minute click close and add in the license server it's, all, it's automatically picked it up apply ok and you'll see that 
the license service has now switched to specified and we set it to per device earlier on anyway. So I'll close that down. Now we're up and we're licensed, we need to generate our remote app for our users to use. So back in Desktop Services, Remote App Manager. Okay, just have a look down here. It's moaning about digital certificates not configured. That way, I'm not going to put one on. So, but the first thing we're going to need to sort out is the TS Web Access Computers Group is empty. So that's a local group on the TS box. So if you just right-click computer and select manage and locate the local users and groups and then groups and you will see TS Web Access Computers is in there. Now once again for simplicity I'm just going to add in the Domain Computers group You might want to lock this down further in your live environments for the purpose of demonstration we'll allow everything in. Okay, the next thing is the remote app programs list is empty because we haven't published any yet. So let's do that. So add the remote app next, and this will show you all the applications that is on the remote desktop services server that you can publish. You'll notice a Microsoft Office one's flinging past there. Remember, you need to have the right licensed version of Office to use it with terminal services. I am just going to deploy Word 2010, so select that and click Finish. And there's my application down at the bottom. Now, I can either create an RDP file and send that to my users and then just double click it, Word will run, or I can create a Windows installer package, which is better for your users, because if they get a doc file or a docx file in emails etc and double click on it then it will associate those files with word and then double click on them and they'll open. So that's where it's going to put the package. Click next. Uh, by default it puts it in remote programs on your start menu folder. I'm going to stick a shortcut on the desktop and I'm also going to associate all the client extensions for word with the target machine. Click finish and there's our MSI file in the location specified earlier. I'm just going to copy that out of there. Drop a copy on desktop. Close that down. So there's my application there on my remote app already published. If you so wish you can right click and inspect its properties. Right, that's as done in here. What I'm going to do is I am going to put my MSI file in a shared folder on here so I can send it out with Group LC. So I'll create a folder on the root C drive on my TS box. It doesn't have to be on here, but my like apps. Let's share that off on the network. Share permissions. Okay, so everyone has read by default. I'm just going to leave it wide open and allow full control. Apply. Okay, then go into security. Edit. Add in. Main users. Okay, and make sure they have read and execute, which sure they will have by default. And I add in the domain computers group as well. So even though I left the share wide open for everyone, I've drilled it back on its NTFS permissions. And most restrictive will apply. Last but not least, 
I need to put my MSI file and my app share so that I can send it out through group policy. There it is, ready to be farmed out. And it is a standard Windows installer package. I don't have file extensions on, but it is an MSI file. So now if I jump across onto my domain controller, I'll create a group policy to farm that out to my clients. So start administrative tools, group policy management. And when that comes up, expand my domain. Now all my computers are in NOU called comps, rather handily, so that's where I'm going to create my group policy object. So I'll call it Deploy Office Remote App. Click OK. It will appear below and I can edit it. Now remember I'm going to send this out to computers, so expand computer configuration policies software settings software installation and over in the right hand window new package now the first thing I'll do is try and browse on the local machine for the MSI file so I'm going to type in the UNC path to my apps folder which is on the TS box if you remember and then it's automatically picked it up for me it's found it winword.msi I'm going to assign it to those machines and there it is there ready to go out that's all I need to do on the DC I'll close that down and close that down so when I boot my domain clients up now or the ones in the comps or you you will see on the desktop it has put a nice shortcut to Word 2010 and if you look in all programs under remote programs there's Microsoft Word so click to launch it oh, I'm just going to tick the box so it doesn't prompt me again and remember we want network level authentication so you need to give it some credentials I'm just going to tick the box and all being well Word will launch as if it's installed on this machine and that will run on this machine as if it was an office installed application even though it is running from the remote desktop services server just knock that out of the way so I can simply launch that now and word will run. And that's your remote app deployed. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.petenetlife.com. Thanks very much.